This is why the FedEx guy hates me. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sutton's Days. I did a thing. Yes, I did. I did a massive haul. I mean, it's massive for us. It's um, definitely a stock up everything. Um, not really focused on food, though. I was focusing on other things. So what I thought I would do is take you along for what I picked up and how long I anticipate it lasting um, in addition to what we already have. So we'll, yeah, kind of walk through this as we do, but I figured why not start here? I mean, this was the beginning of the conversations back in the day as me and my thing with toilet paper, right? So Sam's Club uh, sent us notification, I don't know, a couple months ago now that you're only allowed to buy four cases per month per account and i went okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna nail that right and that was for paper towels that was for toilet paper and i figured you know what let's just do it okay so sorry for the camera work here but and the dogs are gonna photobomb us like crazy because they're like oh cat food hello so what i did is i got four cases of the members mark toilet paper and four cases of the paper towels now um with what we have in stock in our pantry today, I am looking at not needing toilet paper definitely until 2023 and paper towels until at the worst case scenario, um, the end of 2022. Uh, I'm gonna track that, I've made a spreadsheet. I'll actually show that to you guys, <laughs> okay? So um, I am definitely good into 23 and 22 as far as uh, toilet paper and paper towels. Yes, they take up a lot of room. I've made concessions for that. Um, I find, you know, finding a place to put it. So that's what we're doing there. Um, the cat food is not so much a stock up item as it is, uh, hey, I got cat food. You know, I got cats, I got cat food. So now we're going to come back up here. Yes, we are. And um, Ziploc. So I noticed that we were very low on the gallon size bags. We use a lot of the Ziploc bags uh, during hunting season when we're repackaging uh, meat purchases into, you know, smaller quantities so that we use it, uh, you know, more to how we use it. Yeah, so that we can get to it more to how we use it, however you want to say that. Anyway, so I got three of these boxes. You see two. The other one is, the other one is right there. And so I got three of those, a total of 400 and... Where is that? 456 count, 456 gallon size Ziploc bags. I kid you not when I tell you that this will last me into 2023, like into, into, not up to, into 2023. So we are set for Ziploc bags for a good long time. And now I just need, I just need my guys to get out there and hunt. Yes, I do. Okay. So here's where it starts getting a little crazy, a little crazy. Here we've got 10 inch paper plates. I made a decision when, uh, you know, with the remodeling and everything else that with family dinners, seriously, nobody's got time for that many dishes. And so we do, and you see in the videos, we do quite a bit of paper plates. Now more when it's just Phil and I, I will try to use regular plates. I can wash them. That's fine. You know? Um, but when the whole fam is here, Nobody, I, I would rather sit down and play cards with them than I would be standing in the kitchen washing dishes. So paper plates are kind of a big thing around here. Now, <laughs> I did get five and you'll see in my list that I noted five and you only see four here. Um, there are 204 per package of the 10 inch paper plates and I got five, but uh, we're remodeling the bedroom right now and our buddy and our contractor came through and he says, can I buy these off you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, go ahead. I'll just order another one. So we have these. This is going to last us definitely uh, into 2022. And we'll see possibly longer. You know, the kids are getting older. And so their schedules are a little more complicated for family dinners um, because they are getting part-time jobs. Uh, very proud of, very proud of them for going out and doing that and being productive. I'm I'm stoked about that, but, um, so I'll, you know, I'll forgive the lack of family dinners, but we still make it a point to get together. So, um, paper plates, the 10 inch ones are on there. Now, I don't know if you can see it here. I picked up three of these Idaho spuds. 
Love those things. Love them a lot. So what I do is I repackage them into uh, half gallon jars and vacuum seal them. That way I see that they're there. This in on top of what I've already got in the pantry, we're good definitely until the end of 2022 uh, for the hash browns. Phil really likes them. They're a nice treat when I make breakfast for dinner, you know, that kind of thing. I picked up a couple bottles of the 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol, good to have on hand for medical emergencies. And they had a two-pack, which I apparently dented, of Heinz 57. Um, that's on the list. Phil uses it, but mainly when he has the hash browns. So I don't have, I didn't get a whole bunch of that, but I got some. I've already got a couple bottles in the pantry. You see some two packs of Jif. The price is still good. Um, I'll put the price list up. You guys will be able to see that. So I picked up two to backfill what we've used out of my stash. And then Maxwell House Coffee. Now I was so happy about this. It's the 48 ounce jar. Okay. It's the medium blend, original roast. Life is good. And one of those will actually last us mm, a little a little over a month, a little bit over a month. And I had gotten to the point where I'm running a little lower on coffee, and I've been hearing that prices are going up, right? So I figured, you know, let's get it. Because Sam's Club had it on sale for $7 and change. No sooner do I order all 10 of these and they show up than literally in my mail today, Save-A-Lot has the same ones on sale for $5.49. <laughs> so if you have a Save-A-Lot... Be sure to check it out, okay, if you if you are a lover of Maxwell House Coffee on the cheap. A 48-ounce can for $5.49, I think it was. So, um, But these were 7 and change. Uh, still a really good price. The last time I picked these up, I got them for, mm, I want to say, just, on, just under $9 or $9. Yeah. So that is what we have there. Now, we had some damage during shipping, but... Um, decided to stock up on the cat food. We've been doing this for two months now, um, where we split a can between the two cats each day. So I think it's working with them. So we're going to keep doing it. So I have one still in the pantry, but I decided to get two more. I mean, that takes me up to six months worth of cat food right there. Really, really good deal. Phil really likes his raisin bran. So what I do is I take these out. I got two of them. Um, I take these out and I put them again into the half gallon jars and vacuum seal them and they're there when he wants them, when he's in the mood and they're airtight so they last a good long time. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I don't, he, the way he eats it, I haven't had it stay long, long term, but I will this time. So the Raisin Bran is probably going to be at least a year Unless he gets crazy with, you know, suddenly craving it. And the coffee, I forgot to mention, the coffee is also over a year. Over a year worth of coffee there. Not including what I have in my stash. Trash bags. In an emergency, you want to make sure you've got trash bags, right? And this is a really good deal. So, um, again, I'll show you the price list. But there's 200 of them. They're tall, you know, tall kitchen trash bags. They're that power flex, wah, wah, you know. Um, I accidentally got three plain ones and one scented one. I do not like scented trash bags. A little bummed about that. But um, I have, you know, maybe the scent will wear off. There you go. That's my hope. The scent will wear off. But this right here, on t this right here, let me back that up. What you see here is four boxes of 200. That's 800 trash bags. We go through about one bag every other day. <laughs> okay. So we easily have four years worth of trash bags sitting right here. And on the off chance something weird happens, we also have a couple of these boxes in the pantry also. So this is just backup to my backup to my backup. Um, these came in handy when we were cleaning out my mom's house. You know, we had to bag up a lot of stuff. And so, you know, you get emergencies like that or you get construction and you go through a little bit more. But for the most part, we're looking at, you know, four years worth of trash bags here, which is not bad. Okay, next. Whoop. Come on, Lise. Camera work. Okay. <laughs> Chairs in the way. So I also picked up three of the um, eight and a half inch plates. Because sometimes you don't need a 10 inch plate. This is more like a lunch plate. I think they call it. There's 300 in a bag. So we're looking at a couple of years worth of plates here easily. Um, and again, it's because of the family thing. And, you know, when you've got seven plus people that you're feeding, nobody's got time for all those dishes, right? 
Now, next, um, you've heard me talk about it. We've discussed it before. People, you know, if you're on certain medications, uh, sometimes have difficulty. It's a side effect, and this is one of the things. So um, we have this uh, due to some medication that Phil is on, and so this helps keep things moving right along, you know. And um, I'm topping off our preps as far as this is concerned. So these right here, there's nine of them, so... That would last us about five months, and I easily have a year uh, in the pantry already. So these will just backfill um, what we, you know, what we've used since the last time I stocked up on it. So remember to consider these kinds of things also when you are considering your preps. Now I'm gonna take you off the tripod and make it easier for me to get around here. Now, next for the stock up is. Laundry, right? We've always got laundry. And these have 130 in there. They're the power pack thingies, you know. Um, so there's 130 in there. We do about five loads of laundry a week, okay? Um, and that's really high. That's a high amount. If, if I were to average high, guess high, then I would say five loads a week. So this is going to last us a couple of years easy. When you're looking at 365 or when you're looking at 56 weeks, right? I mean, two of these would make up a year. So that's two, that's two and a half. And then there's the stuff that I have already in my pantry. So we will have enough laundry soap to last us probably, probably four and a half years to five by the time this is all put away. And next is the dishwasher tabs, 117 tabs. This is fantastic. The price is really good um, compared to a lot of other things. I picked up five of these also, and we do, on average, a load of dishes a day. So 365, we're gonna use three of these in a year. Uh, I've got now, on top of this, I have, I think two more, three more in the pantry. So we're good for a couple of years doing dishes if we do a load every day. I mean, we don't always, so if you wanna average, you know, if you want to average down, figure five loads of uh, dishes a week because it's just the two of us, you know, unless I've got a full thing going on, um, you know, we're not always filling it every time. But this is, this is what we have. This is what we use. And so we've got at least two and a half years, probably more like three and a half years worth of dishwasher tabs once I add this to it. Um, I also picked up the big bottles of the Finish Ultra. Um, I'll have to look at that to see, but it does 300 loads. So figure, you know, bottle a year, give or take. And that is good for us. That definitely works for us. There are a couple of things that did not show up. I also ordered uh, some window cleaner. It was not only the bottle, but then also the, the refill bottle, right? And that got misplaced in shipping. So that will be showing up later. And then I ordered a couple of 50 ounce mugs for the two of us. Uh, with summer coming, we drink a lot of water and I like being able to have poured it around. And so that is, that is coming in too. I decided to get them instead of waiting for them to go on sale because, well, I didn't want to not get them. So this is what you get for almost $950. We have upped our prep game for a lot of the non-food items now to last us into 2023. This makes me comfortable. This makes me happy. Um, it's gonna be a little bit to get it all, you know, put away in an organized fashion. But hey, the weekend's coming anyway, right? So what would you add? What, what do you think I missed? I'm sure I missed something. I just can't figure out what it is. But this is what we're, this is what we're adding to our preps. This is backfilling. This is making sure that we have enough of everything. It's a longevity issue. Um, this is not hoarding. There is not a thing in or around this table that is not going to get used in some way, shape, or form. It took me like 15 minutes to show you guys all that and talk about it. It's going to take me three days to put it all away. But that's okay. That's okay because that is my insurance right there. 
That is insurance against inflation. That is insurance against hard times of, of any kind. Um, that makes sure that we have what we need or what makes us comfortable to keep going on. Do you know what I mean? Um, imagine not having to think about laundry detergent for three years or dishwasher detergent or, well, toilet paper. <laughs> okay. So, you know, I know some people are going to go, what did you just do? But this is my insurance. This is what I am doing to make sure that we have what we are accustomed to having for at least three years. Um, well, I say three years until at least 2023, you know? So um, this is it. Now I'm going to flip you around. So in total, including tax, you got to love the tax man, $948.53. And two things that I'm still waiting to get, but we have trash bags, paper towels, lunch plates, um, uh, you know, laundry detergent, coffee, cat food, Ziploc bags, toilet paper, dish detergent tabs. You know, we, we've got all those extra little things that in the long run, this saves us a whole bunch of money and a whole bunch of time. And I don't have to worry about it. Most of this was non-food. Uh, the, you know, for major purchasing because I already have our food pretty well stocked, but I did pick up a couple things just to backfill um, and just to extend the amount of time that we have for the other things like the hash browns. Um, that extends the amount of time that we have that available to us. And the uh, peanut butter, we love our GIF. What can I tell you? So, um, you know, I backfilled what we've used and what I stocked up last year. And then, you know, just a couple little things that that we enjoy. I saved for this. I put my pennies away and I saved for just this opportunity. Um, I rearranged the budget a little bit and that's fine. It's fine. I've been working really hard. We've been working really hard to make sure that we are covered. I want to be totally covered for um, all of life's little emergencies up through 2023. So once I get this all put away, <laughs> Okay. Um, I will do uh, an updated inventory of what I have and how long it should last. And then I'll make decisions about if I need anything additional. Now, things like peanut butter, mm, you know, I, I can't keep that around for three years. Um, I don't think it has that kind of shelf life. I'd have to check, honestly. But a year's worth of peanut butter, I'm good with that. And we legit have a year's worth of peanut butter. We have over a year's worth of coffee. Um, and I'm trying to cut back a little bit on my coffee. Yeah. But take a look at the things that you use. Take a look at the all the little things that you use. Um, do you use Q-tips? You know, I looked at that and thought, do I need to pick up more? No, I'm good. Um, do you need, you know, toothpaste? Do you need extra toothbrushes? Do you need, what do you need? There's all these different little things that make life a little more bearable, a little easier, a little more convenient, um, and a little cleaner. <laughs> okay. Okay, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed this stock up prep haul. Yes. It's my prep haul. I am prepared. Get prepared. Be prepared. Forewarned is forearmed. We are armed. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And until the next time, be safe.